Hey guys, Skippy3 here with you again. Welcome to episode 16 of PS4 Let's Play 7 Days to Die. Uh, so last episode we ended off, I was uh, just working on the first level of my perma base. Uh, I do have a lot of work to go ahead here. I have some more cement to make, I have a lot of filling in to do here. Uh, fortunately, I do not have yet a, a nail gun. Uh, so I do have to take a little bit more time constructing, doing it with a hammer, but that is completely okay because the amount of time I would spend trying to find a nail gun, I could build this entire thing in no time. Uh, but uh, once again guys, I do, I do want to thank you again for your uh, in incredible response to my latest videos. It's been uh, an amazing journey. Uh, now another common question I'm seeing too is a lot of people are asking me, you know, what's your stream schedule? What times do you stream? Uh, I don't really have a set streaming schedule, guys. I, I stream as often as I possibly can. Uh, but like I, like I did mention, I, I do work too, right? And uh, I, I just recently got switched to overnights on the, the overnight shift. So uh, the last couple of days I haven't streamed at all just because I've been trying to uh, uh, switch my sleeping schedule and it's kind of got me tired and a little weirded out. Uh, so I might sound a little bit uh, not as energetic in this episode, but I'll definitely do my best here to get you guys out of an episode that will at least be entertaining here. Uh, I didn't really see any other questions. Uh, there's there's one other question too. Uh, a lot of great comments, but uh, there's another question too. Someone was asking, uh, you know, how rebar frames are, are cheaper than concrete blocks, upgrading concrete blocks. Uh, the way I, I, I explain it is uh, the, uh, the rebar frame, it costs five iron and one clay, and it takes a couple seconds to make. Uh, now, if you were to make a fully upgraded uh, concrete block, like to make a concrete block and then upgrade it to concrete again, uh, much like these pillars, um, I used to have to use con 10 concrete and then upgrade it again, I have to use 10 more concrete. Uh, now you got to put in the fact that uh, to do a fully upgraded concrete block with just concrete, it takes about 60 stone and a lot of time because you have to forge the cement in the, uh, in the forge and then you have to take that cement and turn it into cement mix in the in the mixer as well too and both are very lengthy processes uh, but it does not take long to make a rebar frame at all and it does not take long to farm wood uh, so that's pretty much how uh, rebar frames are a lot cheaper than upgrading concrete blocks uh, the only time I ever do upgrade concrete is if it's in forms that I don't have uh, access to in the rebar frames uh, so uh, I, I can't yeah you guys know what I'm, I'm trying to get that with that one like if I was to make like a slab or a, a half slab or a quarter slab uh, anything like that I have to make it a, a block and then upgrade the block itself especially if I want to make like steel blocks that um, aren't rebar uh, but yeah, so I am so uh, excited about uh, getting this base out here. Uh, I did finally release that boundless video. I, I finally got one out and together. Uh, great results too with that one, guys. You guys seem to love boundless. So I'll be bringing you at least one episode a week of boundless as well too um, as they upgrade, update the game. I'm pretty excited about that coming out. It's fully cross-play and everything else. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely go and uh, slap a like on it, uh, especially for your PS4 users and PC users because it's uh, available to both of you. Uh, it's still in early development right now. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend buying it unless you want to support them as a project. Uh, if you want a game like with full content, definitely wait until they release the uh, full version of the game. Uh, now another question too people are asking was, uh, when is the game going to be released? They haven't really set an actual date for the release yet. Uh, they just finally recoded the entire game to work on console. Uh, so we'll see. They're adding the content then now and a lot of exciting things are coming up. Uh, but other things that are going on in my life basically is just uh, well, the, the switch of my, my job work hours and everything else. So um, I won't be streaming as much right now while I try to get my sleep all, all switched around. It, it, I don't know if you guys have ever worked a graveyard shift, uh, but it takes a, a little while. Like I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted right now and I still did sleep 8 hours. Uh, my body still wants to stay awake during the daylight hours. So it's a little bit of a, a double-edged sword on that one. Uh, kind of like that spike. I put down to kill the zombies and I killed myself with it. Ugh, so bad. So bad. See, there's a backpack still from that uh, from that little episode. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, guys, uh, we do have lots of building to do today. Um, tonight, what I have to do is I actually I record at night, too, so that kind of hinders me as well. Uh, 
Uh, so what I'm going to do tonight is we're going to record, of course, this half hour of uh, Let's Play. And then I have to record also as well, too, the one hour weekend episode that I do. Um, since you guys uh, liked it so much last time, I'm definitely going to do another one. That way I don't have to release one uh, Let's Play on the weekend. And you guys have all weekend to catch up on the Let's Plays. Because if I release one a day, it takes you guys a little while to catch up to them. Uh, but yeah, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue filling this in here. Uh, go check up on my forges, maybe get some more building supplies, and then I'll meet you guys back up once I got this uh, floor all done and ready to go. Alright guys, so I ran out of wood here. I definitely need some more wood. Ooh, I'm definitely going to need some more concrete. Lots of rebar frames, so I'm not going to worry about that. What I'm actually going to do is leave my rebar frame down here because I uh, need that to build. Maybe leave a few wood frames, uh, some lead, I don't need that. Definitely need the stone because I need to make some more concrete. So what I think I'm going to do this episode is I do need a water source, guys. I have to get uh, I have to get some water going on, and I haven't been back to that second city in a while. So I think I'm going to be doing some um, some definitely doing some looting this episode. Uh, maybe a little bit of a change of pace from building because I've been doing so so much building lately. I don't know if you guys have seen my multiplayer world lately. But the amount of work we've gotten done on that is absolutely stunning. Uh, there is so many projects I've got going on. I'm going to be making an underground missile uh, bunker, so, uh, like a so, uh, silo, I guess. A missile silo, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, I'm going to re renovate that whole apartment building. I'm actually going to make like somewhat of a skyscraper. I'm going to attempt that on the PS4. Uh, but guys, remember how I told you the one episode, uh, you know, I, I couldn't... Uh, like every once in a while you get this glitch where you can't jump place frames and I, I, I gave a shout out I was like you know anyone you can can you please tell me you know if you figured this out how to get past this please let me know and you guys were great in your responses and I, uh, Max actually um, gave it to me uh, I wanted to show you guys this because I did it off the recording and I was like oh damn I should have probably did that during the recording uh, but as you could tell like you can't place anything on the top of this if you give it a good old punch and then you go back to your uh, frames, you can actually frame right back up and even pick the item back up because uh, you can damage items, uh, the frames, and still pick them up, which is pretty cool. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I think, is uh, we got a lot done. So what I need to do is go to my forge room uh, because I'm going to be going away from this chunk for a while and doing some looting. What I'm going to do is actually get my for forges going full tilt. Uh, that way this is unloaded but the forges will still keep going and it won't attract a lot of zombie attention. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get those forges going, get all my stuff together and I'll see you guys in one quick second and uh, we'll go do some looting. I've made sure I've ate, I've made sure that I'm full up on water and I'm good to go here I slowly earn back my uh, <laughs> my max level here my max health and my max uh, stamina uh, stamina doesn't matter as much right now as you can see uh, running doesn't degrade my stamina bar as much as it used to uh, but I gotta go for a far run here guys I'm running actually in the wrong direction uh, I should go exploring more at some point here too it'd be nice to find a desert or something nearby uh, but what I have to do is I actually have to run up to here, uh, so I got to go northwest. I got to go northwest up to the city. Still got a little bit of exploring to do in the city, but I have a water source there, and what I've done is I've made four buckets. I only really need two, but I'm going to get four because it is a far run, and I also need to hit up that red car that I threw that 20 meat into. I totally forgot to grab that back last time I was there. Uh, but this is a good like 10 minute run for me guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up there uh, so you guys don't have to watch me run for 10 minutes. And then I'll cut back in and uh, we'll do some crazy looting see what's going on. I'll see you guys very shortly. So looks like I found the good old hub city. This is awesome. This is awesome. So I have a water source actually closer by. Uh, I gotta look around here see if I'm clear. Uh, now, I am in this biome, but uh, I'm not overheating, so that's good. Uh, now, it's it's nice and close, actually, to where my base is. It's actually way closer of a run than the other city. It's <laughs> Actually, I can't believe how close it's been this entire time, and I haven't found it yet. What I did was I started running west, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go west and find out what's going on. Uh, but the fortunate part here is, too, guys, is that uh, there's there's water sources all over the place in the hub. 
Uh, so what I'm going to be looking for on the map is like a little small pool of water. Usually they uh, end up spawning in between buildings and behind buildings. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid most zombies right now because I really don't need to deal with that. Uh, but wow, finally found the hub city. I haven't even come close to it yet. I don't know why I haven't chosen to look for the hub city. That probably would have been the best choice uh, <laughs> to find a water source. Uh, so let's keep running around here. This is really cool. This is so cool. Finally found the hub city. Uh, it is so close. So the water source actually is not that far away. That's that's. I'm pumped about that. Uh, but hopefully we can find some cool stuff here. Stay away from the uh, zombie bears because I definitely don't want to be running all the way back here again. Uh, that would be a pain in the ass. Oh look, there's a store over here. A crack of book. Okay, cool. I'm definitely going to be hitting that up looking for uh, looking for books as well here too. Uh, what do I have on my map? Okay, here we go. So if we look at the map, there's these little pools of water. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to be concerned about is just getting myself some water right away. And if you guys didn't know too, um, each, each of these bodies of water actually have a, um, a gun safe in them. Uh, they all have a gun safe. So um, I, I forget where it is exactly. It's in one of these corners. But if you dig one of these out in the corners, uh, you can actually find a gun safe in them. So there's a nice little hint for you guys too. If you're in a hub city, uh, go ahead and look for your gun safes there. Nice. Sweet. Now I got some water on me. And I can hit up a, uh, a crack -a book, which is really, really cool. We'll do some exploring of the hub this episode, guys. Uh, I think that'll make for a fun episode for sure. Uh, trying to avoid all these damn zombies at the same time. <laughs> Alright, let's break open the door here. No more challenge. Okay, cool. So, we're in the crack of book here. Uh, for some reason, the layout of this looks a little different to me. Ooh, fuck your couch. That's right, guys. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Well, you know what? I want the end tables. Screw that. I'm taking the end tables with me. Uh, you actually don't have to hit the end tables. You can, uh... Or pick up the end tables, you can hit them and pick them up. So, fascinating fact for you guys. Uh, I'm not going to search the cast registers, but I'm definitely going to be checking out all these shelves here. See if I can find us uh, find us some recipes, because I definitely need some schematics. I don't have a lot of them. Uh, I definitely have that one. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, scrap it, because I could use the paper. I can make wrenches. Uh, I don't think I have the shotgun schematic, so I'm definitely going to read that. And nothing in there. Did I read it? No, I didn't read it. I was a little too quick. There we go. Now I read it. Because gunsmithing is not something you can really um, increase over time. It's not something you really grind out to get your levels on gunsmithing. So I don't mind using the books to get my gunsmithing levels up. I don't hear any zombies either, so it doesn't look like we've attracted much attention. That's a real good sign, too. Um, I definitely know my crossbow, uh, but uh, my weapons I can level up quite easy. So I'm actually going to take that and uh, scrap them down later on. See if we can find anything else good here. Paper, always take paper. That's always incredibly handy. Uh, definitely going to scrap these couches here for the leather. And uh, take these end tables. That way, at least my roommates have some have some furniture, or I could put some furniture in my place later on. May as well grab those up. These leather couches are so handy. Cool. Now, I am noticing here a little bit of lag while I'm playing. It's a little weird. This this cracker book looks different to me for some reason. I don't know why, but it definitely it looks. I don't know. It just I don't know if it's a color or like what's going on with it, but am I am I going crazy, guys? Like, is this is this a different looking crack a book? I don't think so. I played so much of this game. I I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. We'll accept it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, mini bikes. I actually don't have my mini bikes for dumb shits yet, so I'm definitely gonna read that one up. There we go. New recipe unlocked. Nice. Um, I'm going to wait until the patch, or at least confirm that they, they fixed the mini bike problems until I even bother with the mini bike on this on this map. I definitely don't want to glitch out my map by making a mini bike. So afraid of that. Okay, here we go. 
And sorry if you guys can hear actually my controller sounds, I just realized I was holding my controller quite close to the mic. I try to avoid doing that so you guys can't hear it, but every once in a while I get really lazy and I, I tend to forget. Nice, chainsaw. I don't think I've read this one yet. Let's see if I did. Okay, apparently I didn't, uh, or I did, so, um, but whatever, I'll increase my science, I'll take those points. Uh, now, I did get a question, too, in uh, another episode. They're like, you know, you went into the crack of book, but you didn't loot the back room. Uh, when I'm coming into these stores, guys, especially on, like, the long trips where I only have a limited supply of stuff to bring back with me, um, I don't go into those back rooms because, honestly, like, all they have is, like, a safe and a desk and stuff. And all that stuff can be easily looted elsewhere. Uh, so that's why I usually end up tending to avoid it. Now, if I'm just going on a random loot, I'll definitely head up the back of those stores at another point in time. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, so I've learned all these, actually, the crossbow, I'm gonna scrap that one, I'm also gonna scrap the wrench. Okay, cool. Uh, so I pretty much pooched this place here, there's not much else to look at. Uh, did I get these shelves? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So we're gonna leave the store here and, uh, go and see what else this, the hub has to offer. While trying to stay away from those damn bears, those, those damn, um... Uh, feral barrels or feral, feral barrels wow uh, zombie bears are quite hard they're actually the bane that's why I laugh when people complain about the dogs I'm like are you kidding me it's the bears that are the bitch in this game god they can really get you oh, okay there's another store down this way let's definitely check that one out uh, now the hub if you look in these old abandoned buildings they actually have a lot in them for loot it's definitely if you're, you're like new to the game and you come across the hub uh, definitely take a look in there. Oh, look at that. Another crack of book right behind the other one. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Uh, even more of a chance to get more rest or schematics into my inventory. Definitely not going to say no to that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Another store. A bunch of couches. Am I safe? I might be safe. Might be safe. You never know, though. Sometimes those guys can sneak right up on you without even making a noise. I hear one. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's gonna try to bust in the front window. Whatever. I'll let him do his thing and just run away from... Ooh, auger schematic. I don't think I have the auger schematic yet. Let's find out. Oops, I dropped it. Oh, damn. He came in quite fast. I thought he was gonna try to get through the window. <laughs> Let's just knock him over here. Get rid of this guy. Read, read the otter, otter, otter. Wow. Like I said, guys, it's late at night. I'm still trying to adjust to the night shifts here, so I'm a little weirded out. Might have a little bit of a hard time talking today. Uh, but we'll get through this, guys. I promise you. Okay, cool. Ooh, nice. I think that's the exploding crossbow bolts I wanted. Nice. Those definitely make a difference. Flaming? Oh, these are just a flaming. Okay. Well, I'm definitely still going to read this. Read that up. There we are. Now I have the flaming arrow. I really want the uh, the exploding. The exploding does so much damage. It's good for hordes, especially if you can get them into a group and you throw down a uh, exploding crossbow bolt. Um, it does quite a bit of damage. It's so much fun to watch. Uh, I'm going to take it, but I'm going to scrap it after. Okay, cool. Definitely going to... Yeah, I'll just uh, go ahead and just loot this all up instead of looking at everything. This is always the trickiest part, it's just trying to keep your inventory available and not grabbing stuff you don't need or grabbing garbage. Such a pain in the butt. Go grab these couches up. Need some of that sweet, sweet leather. There we are. Nice. I can hear them. I'm trying to stay a little bit quiet so I'm aware of the, my surroundings, where everything is, where all the zombies are. Definitely don't want those guys sneaking up on me and doing another kill. I already have one kill, or I already have one death, so that, that's that's bad enough. <laughs> I really don't want any more. Okay, cool. Nice. It's so nice knowing the hub's actually this close to my perma base. That's, that's the definite bonus. I'm so pumped about that. Now I have a water source close by, a looting source close by. Uh, there's like three cities really close to each other on this seed. I, I love it. It's so handy. Okay, cool. 
So let's uh, let's get out of here and uh, go do some more explore and see what's going on. Uh, the hub seems to be lagging a little bit here for me today. Uh, sometimes I find if you travel a long distance, uh, the game will start lagging a bit on you. Uh, the way I find to get around that is to actually just uh, exit the game and then reload it. Sometimes that fixes it up for you. Okay, cool. Some more stores. There's a bank over there. I'm not going to hit up the bank right now because I'm more concerned about finding tools. If I could find an auger, that would be damn amazing. Uh, Shamway. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not even going to bother with that place. I hope this is a working stiffs. Is it a working stiffs? Another Shamway. Damn it. <laughs> I love those repeat stores beside each other. It's like they're, it's like they're McDonald's. It's just, there's way too many of them. What's over here? We'll go in this direction. Find out what's uh, what's over here. So we got a bank there, a passing gas right here. Okay, well that's good. I'll go to the passing gas and grab up uh, all the gas barrels that are laying around. Ooh, that looks like it's a movie theater. Movie theater over there. Um, I definitely one day want to do a build in the movie theater. I think that'll be fun. That's one place that I've never done that. And what is happening here? Ooh, shotgun messiah over there. Wow, this actually hub has a damn load of stores in it. It's kind of funny, that passing gas sign is just floating. It's a little odd. Uh, did I grab these? I did, I did. Cool. Now I'm going to go in the back here and grab whatever barrels are kicking around the back here as well too. Those have so much gas in them. Definitely guys, definitely grab up gas barrels. Especially, even if you don't need them. What the frig? What did I hit? What was that? Weird. Cool, cool. So much gas in these ones. Okay, nice. And you gotta watch too, there's little traps. Like, they made it look like people came and lived in this place for a while. Like, you can see a bedroll place down and a campfire. Uh, looks like I got some company, so I'm gonna go this way here. Let's see if I can get through this quickly. Nice, okay, cool. I'm gonna go out this way. Uh, that would be the theater, so I'm not gonna hit that up. That doesn't really have anything I need at the moment. I'm going to run past these guys. Uh, Shotgun Messiah is cool, but I really, really want like an auger or a chainsaw. If I can get a chainsaw, I am laughing because they are a great, great melee tool. Um, they actually don't work very well for, for anything else. Like they, they're, they're okay for wood, but they attract a lot of attention. So I actually prefer to use them as a melee tool because you can walk right up to cops and just run it and the, and, the, and the cops can't do anything about it. They just stand there and take it. And it's great too because cops grab, uh, drop ammo. They, they drop a lot of stuff that you definitely need. Okay, so cross our fingers, guys. We can find something good here. At least maybe some parts. I could definitely use some parts. Even if I got parts, I would be happy with that. I would be on my way to getting a full full set here. Uh, now I want to make sure I loot all these as well too. Sometimes I forget and it's already unlocked and for some reason I think I have to break it open and actually break the crate. Oh, it sucks so much when you do that. Try not to do that. And uh, sometimes... Oh, shit! Holy crap! Okay. Holy crap. That scared the crap out of me. Wow, it's almost like once an episode these guys are getting to me. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to take this out here. I did not hear that one, though, to be fair. That one came out of nowhere. Where did you even come from? Jesus. Man, that's what I love about this game. It, it never ceases to scare me every once in a while. Wow. Oh, another tool and die set. Taking that. Nice. I'm happy with that. That's a successful loot run for me so far. Now I have two tool and die sets already. That's pretty sick. Sounds like we got ourselves some company here too, so I'm going to get out of here as quickly as possible. Oh my goodness, I got my heart beating. What? Another tool and die set? Okay, well, three of them guys. Three of them so far. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Auger parts! Nice! Okay, sick. I'm happy with this loot run. Uh, so I'm pretty much happy with what we got here so far. I got my water source, I got some auger parts, I got some other stuff. I am so incredibly happy with this. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to head back home here. Um, I've, I've done enough looting. What in the world is this? Is this an oddly shaped hub? Hubs are usually square. What is happening here? What is this? What? 
What? Let's look at the map. Oh, it is! There's like a block of the hub missing. I've never actually seen that before. If you look in this upper corner, there should be another block right here. Weird. Uh, so I need to head back home here. Wow, look at this stash, guys. Five gas barrels, a couple tool and die sets, auger parts, and decent auger parts, too. Like, they're not super high level, but that's definitely good. I'll definitely take that. Uh, maybe I should read some of this up. Get it out of my inventory just in case I come across. Oh, and if you guys see, too, on my way here, I ran across a ton of animals. I got 41 animal hide and 24 raw meat, so I, and now I have food. Uh, going back as well too which is pretty exciting uh, so I have to head directly east so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go south and then east across the hub just to see what else is in the hub here uh, so let's go for a run maybe we'll find some more cool stuff uh, maybe we'll find a complete gas or a complete cop station that'd be cool maybe a chainsaw crossing fingers <laughs> I doubt it though uh, chainsaws and augers are so hard to find especially complete ones I, I wish they dropped a lot more but I, I see why they do it I definitely see why they do it uh, a lot of destroyed buildings a lot of stores though this this hub seems to have a lot of stores this seed is one hell of a good seed I have not been disappointed in that in it at all uh, now I have a lot of people saying um, you know like I uh, they're confused with the seeds from what I've seen and what's been reported is that okay there's not a row going that way um, is that typing in the name of the map is um, is the equivalent of the seed number uh, now I can't replicate that and tell you guys hundred percent that is my seed because I'd have to delete this one and make a new one and I really don't want to do that uh, but I've had people say that they've opened up my seed uh, Skippy 3 uh, Skippy and the number three uh, and they've, they've had the same map come up so I mean it does seem like it's a thing um, I just not confirmed it myself uh, so when you guys are asking you know what what's what's the seed stuff about that's what it is what you name the save uh, so I don't know how true it is I haven't been able to confirm it myself so it's just all rumors but uh, yeah hopefully hopefully that's true oh this hub is big Wow, okay, cool. There's a probably a ton of stuff in this hub. I am so pumped about this. Water source nearby. I got four buckets of water. A whole ton of auger parts. Two tool and die sets. <laughs> uh, it's too bad I didn't find more calipers. I could definitely use calipers ahead of the tool and die sets, but I mean, they're such a rare drop. I'll take them, right? Ooh, did I find desert? I found desert. I found desert. Oh my god, guys, the gaming gods have been so good to me this episode. That one episode, guys, where I died, I got choked and everything. I, I just, oh, I just found a desert. I am so pumped. Nice. How far away is it? It's not even that far away either. This is, oh, this is so awesome. So now I have a mine for gas, and I also have a source for yucca plants as well, too. So, damn, this has been a good run. This has been a super good run. This is probably the best episode I've had so far. Um, it doesn't appear to be an extremely large desert, but it is a desert nonetheless. I'll definitely take it. Now I know there's a desert nearby. Oh, I can come here and get sand if I need to, so I don't waste a whole bunch of stone. Um, it is a little bit of a stroll away from my base, but that's okay. Uh, but guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run back home here, and uh, once I've gotten back, um, I'll meet up with you guys here it'll be a little bit of a while for me uh but a quick second for you see you soon okay guys so back home now uh i had an incredible run back here i got a stack and 13 of raw meat and 91 animal hide that is absolutely epic i'm totally pumped about that uh hunting knife book i'm gonna scrap those uh because i could use the paper uh, but there we go. Let's uh, let's get some end tables out here. Uh, since I have so much stuff in my uh, inventory, uh, here you go, Richie. There's an end table for you, and Jeff, an end table for you, and fuck you, Bob. Uh, so, what do we have here? These have been going full tilt while I was gone, which is really really good. Uh, so we pumped in about half the contents while we were we were away and we didn't get any attention so that's absolutely amazing 
Um, I'm going to continue getting the uh, the cement made up. And if you guys um, are curious as well, too, uh, what I've done is I've jacked up the zombie spawning all the way to max. And uh, that's why I get got that so much attention that one episode, why you guys saw me struggling so much. Uh, I guess I could start making some iron bars here as well, too. I'm definitely going to need a ton of those for the build. Cool stuff. Okay, awesome. So, uh, I'm gonna get my inventory sorted out, and I don't even have a fireplace yet. I just realized that I should make a fire pit. Definitely should make a fire pit here. So I'm gonna dump some of this stuff into my, into my random stuff, because you guys know how much I love to organize. There we are. I still have eight end tables. That's awesome. Okay, 76 leather from all those couches. That's freaking awesome. I'm gonna scrap that. Use the paper. Feathers away, put this paper away, hmm, animal hide, definitely get that stashed. What else to have your auger parts? Okay, so I need some small stone, there we go, okay, cool, need to make that campfire. I gotta uh, start getting some of this meat, meat cooked up here, because I have a ton and I only had the, the grilled meats, uh, I should have a ton of eggs kicking around. 19. Is that it? Is that all I have for eggs? I swore I had a ton more eggs than that. Oops, I just picked up, uh, I just picked up Richie's end table here. I'm sorry, Richie. Okay. Oh, I have, like, eggs in almost every single chest. Like I said, I love to organize. Okay, cool. So let's, oh, let's get this fire pit going here. And, uh, where'd it go? Is that another disappearing item? Yeah, I'm press I'm pressing like the collect button, but I'm not picking it up. Okay, cool. Well I'm gonna have to make another fire pit. Thank god that wasn't something expensive. That would have sucked. Here we go. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna throw this fire pit down, increase our heat map like crazy here. And uh oh, I have to get all the items into the fireplace. What do we have? Uh beaker cooking and grill. Oh, wow, I have a lot of meat. Holy crap. I'm going to have to start going and looking for a lot more eggs here. Definitely keep my eye out for more eggs because I love the bacon and eggs. It's all about the bacon and eggs. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make a farm at some point too so that I can make like stuff like meat stew and whatnot. Meat stew is really great. Uh, 105. I don't need that much. So, I'll use the wood to heat it up here and make us a bunch of bacon and eggs. There we go. 16. I can make 16 bacon and eggs. So I'm going to stash the rest of this meat actually up in this fireplace. Just like this. And eat myself some bacon and eggs because I just ran to the hub and back. So I probably need to eat. And uh, what I'm going to do here is take out my pickaxe. And I'm going to dump the water into a spot in the ground here. I'll make a, make a nice little hole. Uh, we'll make it right here. This is just temporary. Uh, this is to, uh, to keep the water. So, uh, for most of the time, you can actually make a water source. So, I am just like this. I'll make myself a nice little area, and dump a couple of those water buckets in it. And hopefully, they don't glitch out and I lose the water. Uh, but I did grab two extra just in case that did happen. Okay, cool. So let's get this down here. Oh, I forgot to replace uh, Richie's end table. Let's do that right away. Sorry, Richie. I keep forgetting about you, buddy. There we go. There you go. Now you have your own end table. Okay, cool. And uh, this is more for all you guys that said I should start decorating my place. <laughs> nice, nice fancy uh, end tables here for you. Okay, so water. There we go. Nice. So now I should be able to uh, grab uh, some water. So what, I'll show you guys a trick here. I should be able to get my glass jars out and take some of this water and fill up my jars. Okay, cool. And see how it kind of leaves a little bit behind? Now I can go and fill up my bucket with it again. And if I drop my bucket in, oops, seems to be sweet spots. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see how water's really glitchy? There we go. Okay, perfect. And now I can fill up another 15 uh, buckets of water, or uh, murky water, and then take what I have left, fill it up with a bucket again, and drop it and rinse and repeat. So that's how you guys can give yourselves an endless source of water. Um, all you really truly need is one bucket, 
but if you're far away from your water sources, uh, grab at least four buckets just in case it glitches out on you, and then you're out of water again. Because you can't dump water out of your, um, out of the bottles apparently. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, put the rest of this stuff away. Uh, and you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and make some fresh water. I'll put that in queue here. There we go. Nice, nice. So. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I have my water source now. I have done some extra steps, got some auger parts, got everything else I need. Tons of uh, animal hide to make forages once I get my base going here. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do next episode is definitely do a lot more uh, building because it's going to be my hour long episode. Uh, so I plan on hopefully getting that build mostly done by that time. Um, I'm going to have to AFK here a bit and make some concrete and get that going. Actually, I, sh I should start that here. What do we got? Okay, cool. Uh, some cement. Got some cement going on. We can start making some concrete because I have to make two some uh, some quarter uh, quarter slabs so I can get that going. Uh, oops, here we go. Because uh, I have to make the spike area, and that's on the first floor there. So I got to get that in. That's a priority. So I got to get some cement going for that. Some cement mix. Uh, 83 in here. Okay, and I need some small stone. Definitely need some stone here to make up some more cement mix. Okay, cool. Let's get the uh, cement going here. And I have 602. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's get some more going. There we are. 2000. Okay, cool. I am happy with that for now. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn these, uh, if I go up to recipes, into the quarter concrete blocks. Um, so that I can do the spike design that you guys have seen me do quite a few times. Uh, now, I'm definitely going to need more than 68 of this. Uh, so this is going to be a slow process. Uh, so, of course, off stream what I'm going to... Or off stream. I keep seeing stream for some reason. Um, off screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, start digging out some more stone around this place. Because, I mean, I can level it out, right? Um, I definitely need to look into getting my uh, tool skills up here a little bit. Uh, so that it only takes one hit for the stone. It's a, so much quicker to mine uh, when you're only doing one hit uh, but what I can do is just kind of level out this room get all the corners and little nooks and crannies all done up here uh, so that it's all all flat because I'm gonna build something in here at some point too I don't know what yet uh, but I'm definitely gonna take uh, good use of this space uh, if you guys have any ideas for this space definitely let me know I would love love to hear some suggestions for it because uh, I mean I might make this like my my area where I have all my different rooms and whatnot I, d I don't know I really don't know at this point in time what I'm gonna do with it uh, but once again guys if you do have a suggestion definitely let me know down in the comments and that uh, pretty much wraps up this episode so guys uh, once again I want to thank you for all your support it's been amazing uh, don't forget to like the video if you've watched it all the way to the end uh, congratulations I barely watched all my own videos all the way to the end so <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video here and as always guys stay surviving keep it classy and peace Turn it on, turn it on.